Hey everybody, Preferred Selection here with some Terraria 1.3. We are in a brand new world today, we're in an expert crimson world, and the reason for that is because we haven't beaten the brain yet, and I think that might be fun, so I'm going to put on this quick shield of Cthulhu, because it seems like this might be useful versus the brain. I've heard that it's better than I initially gave it credit for, so we're gonna try it out. I think it'll probably do more for us than the... well, I mean... Could do more for us than the Shark Tooth Necklace, hard to say. The Shark Tooth ne Necklace is guarding, but this gives a little bit of... gives two defense anyway, so it's kind of the same. I don't know why I'm getting iron, because we need to just kind of... kind of go find some Crimson. Make a little bit of an arena. And try the brain on. I have no idea what the brain's like special attack is. Oh, Crimson's right here. That's nice. See that I haven't been over here already or anything like that. Haven't explored this world on uh, any characters. I really only... I, I've been... Like, I know people are really excited about, like, Martians and Moon Lords and stuff. But I have not touched late game hard mode or any you guys have seen every bit of expert mode hard mode that I've seen I've been avoiding it except for let's summon a nib I've uh, not been playing off camera really so even as much as I'd like to go take my character who's like right at the moons like my current best off-camera character. Oh, okay. I'll take a jungle chest that's right here. That's cool. Staff of Regrowth. Um, on board. I'm on board with all this, like, every single thing. That's gonna really fill up my inventory fast, but that's okay. It's all right by me. This is some weird... Um... Let's see. I'm mine a little slowly, but I don't think I I don't think I need to What's going on with my map? Alright, there we go. I don't think that I <coughs> pardon me. <laughs> my inventory's like full. Okay, let's get out the piggy bank. I want to deposit that. Uh, I need like all of this. I should have put some more stuff away. I don't need an invisibility potion. I'll drink it for now. I don't think it does anything. On single player. I guess I could... Do I have any bombs on me? I don't even think I've got bombs on me, if, even if I wanted to use them. I've apparently put away all my bones, so I don't need that. I don't think I'm going to use this bone glove. It really doesn't seem like it'll do anything for me in hard mode. Which is unfortunate, because I mean, it's a neat idea, I guess. Well, the blood crawlers aren't too bad, and even for expert mode, and I, I think kind of my my philosophy is that if you can handle if you can handle like if you can handle like the blood crawlers, you can usually handle the eye. Don't know if that carries through for expert mode or not. And by eye, I mean brain, of course. Alright, obviously I'm not going to break this right away unless I do it by accident just now. Um, so I want a little bit of a bridge. I want kind of like a lot of a bridge, as a matter of fact. Let's go ahead and... Get some wood going on.
don't really know how. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that I want like a lot of bridge just in case things go really poorly. That jungle bat could be a problem. Where's my imp? Come on, imp. Do your work. I think like right. Do I want to actually bring it out all this? I think I might want to bring it. I've needed like really big arenas for all these fights, so I was initially gonna like block this stuff off. But I think I actually want to. I want to block this one off, uh, for sure. So hopefully some enemies generate over there and get trapped. But this I think I actually want... I think I want, like, most of this for an arena. Gotta get, get out my... These blood callers never stop. <laughs> Expert mode was definitely not balanced for getting into your inventory and putting stuff away, that's for sure. Put away a lot of stuff, I think. Not breaking altars, any. Well, eh, whatever. I can put it away for now. Guess I can put my shadow key in my safe. It's not like my safe is that far away. Anyway, what was I doing? I was building... You want to build this stuff out of wood, typically, so that you don't have to, like, mine through it later, but it doesn't super matter. Alright, get away from me. Yeah, I think I'm going to need all this space to fight the brain, because I, I normally don't give myself enough room to fight the brain, period. But especially for, like... Especially for expert mode, I'm sure it's going to be, like, a really complicated fight. And I have to remember that I can take fall damage, because I got... I just got a horseshoe and balloon on my off-camera character. So I'm forgetting. Block this off, I'm not going to need to go over, over here. And then, platform time, I guess. I don't need, like, platforms everywhere, because I, I can... I can jump pretty well. I do need light everywhere, though, so it's going to be dark otherwise. Do I have... I think I've got... I thought I was carrying around Heart Lanterns, but maybe not. And I've got a ton of wood, so I'm just gonna... keep making this longer and longer. And I can already see myself, like, falling down here. That's gonna happen. Do I want, like, a even higher, like... Yeah, why not? I've, I mean, I've got all this space, so why not make it so that I can come up here if I really need to? Then we can throw this rope just, like, wherever.
All right. I don't think I need any like super special buffs or anything. It'd be nice if I still had. Do I have a random like sharpener on me? That'd be nice. I don't. I should probably carry one of those like knife sharpener things because they seem cool. All right. You know, I'm going to dig this out a little bit more, just because... why not? Why, why get stuck on that? Like, it's that would just be silly. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to need sashimi, of course. And I think I want to use, like, probably this... Alright, good. Didn't like despawn or anything. I've had issues with the brain despawning before for reasons I couldn't quite fathom. This seems like it's going fine now, but it could all. That's a lot of debuffs. Um, this is not actually. If this is meant to like confuse me, it's pretty easy to tell which one's real. Oh, it's getting harder and harder each time now. That makes sense. Alright, so the brain was like nothing compared to like the wall of flesh. That's good. Totally okay with that. Get all the tissue, even though I pretty much am going to be set for that. I think I got all the musket balls too from that. I mean, we were using a kind of overpowered weapon for that, but not like super crazy. That's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not ever gonna complain about expert mode being easier than I think it should be. All right. So what did we get from the treasure bag? We got a little bit more brain tissue, a brain of confusion. So we can equip this. Oh, we totally forgot to use the shield. We we're supposed to use that. So what I've been hearing that's good about the shield is you can use it to, like, avoid it, avoid getting hit by melee attacks. Might have to unsummon the imp to show it off, but like... Okay, so these guys are coming for us. When I'd normally be hit, I can just like throw myself into them. And instead of getting hit a ton, I, I you know, I hit them with a contact attack. So yeah, I mean, that seems pretty cool. I don't know if I could really do that and, and like attack, so maybe it's not for me, but it's... I'm a, it seems fine. It seems good. Alright, so the brain is... If I get hit, I confuse enemies. Which is neat. I wish it was a material for something, but eh, whatever. Let's try it out. Let's get hit on purpose. Maybe? Can something hit me? Yeah, all right, then he gets confused. I don't think that's gonna be worth it in expert mode, but who, who am I to say? I think I'd rather have my shark tooth necklace than, than the shield or that, but who, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's go back to... my non-expert mode world and just put a little tiny bit of stuff away. Oh, I did re-gift myself the jellyfish statue that I lost because I was like, eh, I don't want to have to have lost that. So that's the one little bit of cheating I've done is I gave myself my, my jellyfish statue that I accidentally destroyed with lava. So, you know, I think that's, that's fair. Or even if it's not fair, I did it. Oh, uh, there's a lot of stuff in our accessories chest. I guess we're gonna have to start another one of those soon. Got a guide voodoo doll. And we've got, do we have lava waders? Yeah, we do, okay. All right, so I know I've got a elevator. Oh. Got a elevator. I'm not super far on it, but Probably won't need, like I've got really good everything. It's 
pop this summon thing back on to get a pretty strong little imp there. Let's go down here. And let's fight the Wall of Flash. Hope you could hear me okay. I, know, I just noticed right now that my microphone was kind of facing away from me. So sorry if the beginning of the episode sounds a little quiet. Gotta say, so far, I've liked a couple of the expert mode items. I even like the Bone Glove, even though it's not, like, super useful to us. But... The Demon... Like, the Demon Heart and the Worm Scarf are the only ones that really... I mean, the Demon Heart's insanely good. But... You know... Not the most impressed I've ever been by the... General situation with those items. Let's see, what do I want to use for like... I don't need to make a bridge because I'm going to do... I'm going to do most of this in... Oh, I love just being able to tank these guys. It feels so good. Should be able to find that again. There's a lot of cities around. Kind of wish there weren't. I was sort of hoping I could just come down here and, like, fight the wall. But I need to at least get to a place where... Either there's not a ton of cities around, or maybe build a bridge or something. And I don't like—I don't want to like build a bridge on camera if I don't have to. All right, this I can just walk through. That's fine. This I can't. Oh, there's houses everywhere. Perhaps I should have prepped a little bit more for this and like done. Yeah, but it's just the regular old wall flush. It's not the expert mode one for this fight, so we'll see if we even, you know, we're gonna be all right. Lava waiters are gonna do a lot of work for us. Here it's pretty open. Hopefully it stays open for a bit. Kind of. Nope, not for very long. This could be a slightly longer episode, but I didn't want to end it like 15 minutes in when we just done. Not much of anything. I've, well, I mean, we made a new world and we fought the brain, but brain was kind of easy. Magma stones are nice. Fire blossom seems way more common than it used to. Okay, this is all really open. This is good. This is perfect. Grab some ash. Alright, so that's gonna be like the one tight jump we have to make is into there. It won't even be that tight, really. If the wall flush even lives that long. I always think that these are things, but they're not.
What armor am I in? Okay, I'm in I'm in the crimson armor. Alright, so we found the edge of the world. And we're just gonna go ahead and throw the guide booted all. And hope for the best. Water bolt everywhere. I guess I could aim it at the hungry, but eh, whatever. Aim it whichever way. Slightly different situation than <laughs> fighting the uh, hard mode version. Taking a little bit of damage. The hard mode version we even fought at 1080p and it was still pretty hard. Or not the hard mode version, but the Oh, that's that was a little tricky. So under 500. Well that was wild, the game felt like it was going to crash for a second. Hey, we got a laser rifle. I like seeing that. And here's a new block. This is the crimson version of the demonite brick that you get if you kill the wall in Crimson World. It's really pretty. Kind of reminds me of, like, a cross between the adamantite beam and, like, the cog, maybe. Nice tile set. This is not a, not even a long episode. That was a pretty short little exchange. Laser rifle's really good. I might end up uh, using it as a main weapon or something. But, yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna call this one here, I think. And then when we'll come back, we'll try out hard mode in Traria 1.3. Alright, see you guys next time.